All right, everyone. Um, I don't have a vlog this week. You know what? There's absolutely nothing going on. I'm just sat here twiddling my fingers, uh, looking at my orange and looking at the rain and I'm like, I don't know what to do. I guess one thing I could do is I'm actually gonna do some shout outs. So I've got my last vlog here and I had so many comments. So thanks a lot for that guys. So who have we got? We've got Harry Jackson. We've got Brian Slatsani. Slatsani? Hopefully I got that right. We've got Aaron Topman. All right, dude. We've got Kirsten Joe, Lush Sarah. Who else we got? We've got Mersey Media, Morgan Mountain Bike, Cashless Captures. We've got Urban Divide. How's it going? We've got Mike Cartier. How's it going, Mike? We've got uh, Rory. You've seen Rory in some of my last uh, vlogs. Who else we got? Rainbow LP. Uh, thank you very much for your comment. Andrew McBride. We've got Inspired Inspired. I like the name. Um, we have got... We have got Ross Nicole. Rainbow LP again. Who have we got? Leon Baris. I hope I got that right. Who have we got? Anal Teflon. Now, his actual name is Alan, but it's an anagram of his name, Alan Felton, so that's why he's called Anal Teflon, so yeah. Jordan Fairweather. I wish I had fair weather now. It's absolutely chucking it down outside. Oh my goodness, we've got so many here. Sorry if I can't get to you all. We've got Archie Hicks. We've got Jack Lemon, who I mentioned in the last one. We've got Alex Storzy. Again, I'm probably murdering a lot of names here, so please forgive me. I'm not very good at this. Uh, Vakaras, and let's see, last one, who have we got, let's say, okay, we've got Andrew McBride, so thanks a lot for all your comments, guys, I really appreciate appreciate it, even, so yeah, if you comment again, I'll, I read every single one of them, uh, and I try to reply to them all, sometimes I miss them if they're like an older vlog, but I, I will try and reply to every single one, or at least like every one if I can, uh, so yeah, thanks a lot for that, guys. And actually, you know what? I fibbed. I do have something I can show you guys this vlog. And what do we have here? Now, Inspired sent me a couple of boxes. Now, I'm gonna open them up. Uh, I've not done an unpacking yet, so yeah. I've got a knife. Let's just jump straight in there, shall we? Go with this one first, I guess. like Christmas and birthdays all together. Let's see here. Don't think this is their usual wrapping, so I've kind of got an idea what's gonna be in this box. This has been to my flat before, and I've packed this up, hence the ball bags tape. So let's have a look, what have we got? Oh, exciting. Let's see, five. Last, let's just do it. Okay. We've got more boxes. Let's see. Come on. Nipples. So that's that's a big clue, surely. And we've got hubs. Hope hubs. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys into a little secret. You know, all inspired top end builds, so all the sky builds, all the arcade builds. The wheels are hand built. Now, some of you probably will already know this, but yeah, I build them. So, if you have a sky or an arcade, you can potentially look underneath the uh, rim strip and you may find a, a wee autograph there. Now, I've not done every single build and I've not done every single wheel with an autograph, but yeah, if you're, if you're curious, have a look and you may have a, a wee signature there. So we've got some rear hubs in this box. So that's pretty cool. But these Hope Pro 4s, I think. Yep. Hope Pro 4. Awesome. Oops, probably do that a little bit more gently. Right then. What are they getting built onto? Oh, I hope I'm not filming this like a complete idiot. I'm not actually looking at the camera screen. So, what have we here? Spank. 
We've got Spank Race 33s. So, let's see, what are these actually going on to there? These hubs are 20 mil, so these are sky wheels and a 12 mil rear axle. So yeah, these are going onto a sky fill build. Well, quite a few sky fill builds. So that's pretty cool. So I think that's all that's in there. A couple of boxes to send them back. So yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. I have to get building those ASAP. Now then, this box is what I've really wanted to open. So you guys know I had my new foreplay quite recently. I'm, going, I'm doing this quite gently. Don't want to scratch whatever's inside. So this might actually be a bit of a surprise to a lot of you. If it's what I think it is. Oh, oh. Worst unboxing ever. Although potentially best. Well, what have we got? What have we got? It's a bike. 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 Oh, come on, I just need to get this out and see what it is. Oh, come on. Okay, so we've got wheels. Pretty handy for a bike. Come on, let's get these out. Let's see what frame it is. Here we go. Looks like... Okay, we've got a flow. We've got a flow. We've got a flow. Let's see. Come on, get all this stuff here. Again, apologies for the absolute appalling filming here. I'm trying to do this one-handed. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Get these off. We have an inspired flow. Awesome. Loving the color, by the way. Check this out. I'm not sure if this is really coming through. I'm looking at the screen, and the screen is definitely looking a lot lighter yellow than I'm seeing with my naked eyes. So, yeah, it's an awesome color. Nice dropout. Oh, I can't get that out. I'll have to leave that in. So that's pretty cool. So I imagine a lot of you guys are probably wondering, why have I got a flow? Now, that's a pretty good question. I'll tell you why. Um, basically, I want to see what I can do on Inspired's cheapest bike. And I think this is the cheapest bike. I'll actually have to go and double check that. But yeah, basically, I want to go out there and see how much the bike actually dictates, you know, what you can do. I know, obviously, the more you spend, generally the better quality and the stronger parts you know, get. And yeah, I don't know, I'm just curious. Can I do the same level? Is you know the level of bike really the deciding factor? Is it a skill thing? So yeah, I asked Inspired if they could send up one of their cheapest bikes and I will try and ride it and basically see how I get on with it. And yeah, see whether is it the ride or is it the bike? So that, that's the idea. So I'm gonna... I'm going to cut this off now and I'm going to get building this up and then I'll do a wee bike check on it or something. Just give you guys an idea of what parts are on this. Um, and then yeah, I guess I'll just get out riding it. So yeah, pretty cool. I am a happy guy and I'm actually pretty excited about getting out on this. So yeah, nice one. Cheers Inspired. Alright, so we've got our bike stand. Let's do it here, it's nice and bright. Let's see, can I do this one handed? <laughs> I hope you guys like my pink socks. All my clothes are in the wash, so I'm just like wearing the most random stuff at the minute. Uh, come on, let's get this down. I'm just gonna have to, whoa, I almost dropped that then. Just gonna have to make this a little bit wobbly because I'm gonna have to use two hands on this. So uh, let's see, come on. There we go. It shouldn't be this hard. Oh, there we go. How do we get this up? D 
I think that's just about ready for a bike. I know you're to all totally enthralled by me putting together the bike stand. I haven't even got to the bike yet. Right, just about got there now. Oh, well that'll do. Right, get rid of some of this stuff. Watch the paint, watch the paint. Right. See if we can make the biggest mess possible. Get them all off. Looking good. Where to start first? Oh, let's start there then. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. See how easy this thing builds together? On the steerer tube. Now, oh, does this thing come with any headset spacers? Ooh. Found the headset spacers. Right, what next? Of course, I do recommend everyone reads the instructions when building up a bike, but I'm just diving straight into this just because I can't wait to get it built up and I'm just lazy. So what I'm going to do is try and find some grease though. Do not want these bolts seizing. Found it. This would be the first actual complete bike I've pretty much ever ridden. I've never had a bike out of the box that I've never changed anything on. So this would be pretty interesting. Now, building bikes before from other brands, I've always found there's been a couple of headaches. I've run into a couple of problems building up, so I've never built up one of these before. Fingers crossed, that all goes pretty smoothly, so I guess we'll soon find out. So has anyone else out there got an inspired flow? Tell me what you think of it, because yeah, I've never ridden one before, so I'm quite excited about this. So I'm hoping I'll get on with it. I'm hoping it's not going to be another case of the foreplay new bike trying to kill me. So, yeah. Maybe I'll just take it a little bit easy to start with. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so impatient. This will be the first time on a non Hope Hub for years as well. 50 bolts, 50 bolts. Got the bolts and a grease. Ah, oh, they're neat. I like those. I like those a lot. I really like that. That is a neat system. I thought this thing was going to have to run snail cams, but I'll show you a close-up of those in a minute. They're neat as anything. Average BB5s. Not as good as Maguro, of course. Really hit me in the face there. Is that right? Full. I'll turn on what we've got here. Is that for the front brake? Be the first cable brakes I've had in years as well. Stretch the cable. It's actually, it's not technically stretching the cable, it's just making all the cable ends seat properly. Now, the front brake cables, I've normally run them through the steer tube, but I guess on the, the cheaper bikes, it would just cost a little bit more to have the steel tube to allow that. So on this one, I'm gonna to have to have the brake on the outside, but on a cable brake, that's probably no big deal, just because having it through the steel tube means you have to have quite a few sharp corners of the cable, which can make your brake feel pretty horrible. So yeah, on the outside is fine. It's not like I do many foot jam whips anyway. guys ever do this you put a tool down and 10 seconds later you cannot find it ah oh, I had a five mil where'd it go and it was right there it was right there I looked there I looked there twice I don't know how they do it gremlins or something that is a really good chain tension device Pretty much there. Where are these pedals at?
Here's an error. I can't actually get the bike out of the stand now. Oh. Come on. Yay. There we go. So there you go. That's all built. That went together extremely smoothly. Like I said, I've never really had a, a full build before. And that's, that's only been like maybe 20 minutes to build that. Just with some pretty basic tools. I'm pretty impressed. It looks nice. It's not actually that heavy either. Yeah. Good work inspired. Just a few tiny little final touches. Just need to re-pump up that back tire make sure all the bolts are tight and then wait till it's sunny and then get out and ride this thing. You know what? I can't wait. I'm just gonna go out in the rain and at least get these brakes bedded in. Uh, but I won't film it because I want, don't want to break my camera, so yeah, be right back. So I am back from my soaking wet ride, it's absolutely chucking it down. Got the brakes bedded in a little bit and actually the bike's feeling really capable. I've got it here and you can see I've already got it filthy, I've got tyre marks on there, probably got a few scratches and stuff. But I'm actually really surprised in how sort of comfortable it feels. The riding position is so close to my bike. I think the bars are maybe just a fraction lower, but it actually feels really, really good. You may be able to tell from the different top I'm wearing, uh, this is actually a little bit of a time difference between uh, the previous filming. And actually I filmed all the early part of this video way before I even Belladrum, so that's a few weeks ago. And since then I've gone and done my ankle again, although this time it's not due to the foreplay. I'm actually getting on with that really well. Uh, this time uh, it was in a show, we're I've got my mini flips back because that's awesome but in this show the run up was really short and I was still pedalling as I went off the jump and I went a bit off angled. I put my foot down uh, which was fine. Uh, it's actually the other foot which was still on the pedal just had all my weight landed it and it basically tried to get my toes to touch my shins and yeah I've gone and hurt it but I've got some good help. I've got active gym, I've got my girlfriend Jane Black and yeah they're gonna help me recover because in a couple of weeks i've got to go to eurobike which i'm really hoping i can get riding for but yeah i really hope you enjoyed my unboxing it's literally the first time i've ever done anything like that it's probably the most amateur thing i've ever done i don't think you guys really expected it to be a flow um i don't think yeah anyone guessed it on any of the comments uh so yeah i hope i hope it was interesting for you guys and regarding to the wheel builds that I mentioned as well, if you guys do have an arcade, if you do have a Sky, take a picture and send it to my Facebook, which is just Ali Clarkson. I'd absolutely love to see it. And hopefully they've been good for you. I build all my wheels, I build all the wheels for Danny and Duncan, and they've been holding up. So fingers crossed yours have as well. Likewise, if you guys have any comments or anything to say, any requests, uh, yeah, don't be shy, send them in. I love to read all the comments and like I said before, it's not possible to do everything you guys ask. Uh, I will certainly consider things and often it's easier said than done with a lot of them. But, you know, I do take it all in, I do read every comment and I do try to reply to them when possible. So, yeah, I love to see them. So please don't be shy and just send them in. So, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this episode and, yeah, the usual, please subscribe, please share the video, like, comment, go onto my social media, my Instagram, my Facebook page. It's all Ali Clarkson, nice and easy to remember. And yeah, I hope you guys have a really good week and I will, oh, even though I've got a dodgy angle, I will try and figure something out for you guys. So yeah, have a good one and I'll see you later. Bye bye.